Hi crafters, it's Jen Cochran here with another tell all video. Before we get started, I would love to remind you to give me a thumbs up when you're finished watching. This helps YouTube recognize my channel and lets me know that you like what I am producing. Thanks for the thumbs up. Let's get started. All right, here's the template that I made um, for our pop open purse card. First, what you want to do is score on every side of your 12 by 12 paper at four inches. And you can see on my big score from Crafters Companion that I have um, taken a black um, alcohol marker and marked all of the inches off onto my big score. And you want to always make sure that you butt the left hand side of your uh, cardstock all the way up to the left hand side of the big score. Now what we're going to do is we are going to score our diagonal corners. So every corner you want to take and place your um, score tool um, right in the corner of where your your two four inch score marks intersect and you want to score diagonally to the corner. You're going to do this on all four. All right. So you're going to do those triangles on the left and right hand side of um, your paper, whichever way you want to face it. It doesn't matter. Just so you have a triangle in the middle on the left hand side and the right hand side of your paper. All right, so I'm going to show you the template one more time. And there are all the score marks that you will need to make on your 12 by 12 paper. And here's our pop open purse card one more time. All right, so I'm going to use the Stampinus Creative Palette Mono Printing Plate uh, today to decorate my pop open purse card that we're making here using Crafters Companion products. And it's real flexible. Um, I'm going to cover my surface with plastic so when I'm airbrushing, I don't get ink everywhere. And I will show you how to use this. I'm going to um, play some music. But before I do that, I'm going to let you know the Spectrum Aqua markers that I've used. I've used um, the Aquamarine, Kingfisher, Peacock Blue, Bud Green, and Black. Enjoy the music! As soon as you're done uh, airbrushing with your e-brush from Craftwell, um, you take and spray down your black Eiffel Tower and you're going to do the same um, technique and just press your paper over it and lift it up and there you have it. And what I did is I went ahead and did all the way around the outside edge of my 12 by 12 paper that we scored earlier uh, so that there was a pattern around the outside edges. And now I'm using my really reasonable ribbon and there's my big um, stack of blue ribbon there and trying to find the right colored ribbon. And um, this is how I tie my bows uh, using the bow at all. And it's the V2.0 and that's how I get my um, double layered bows 
with you know one sh one set of shorter loops in the front and then the longer loops in the back all right and once my bow's done you gotta kind of play with it a little bit and I measure it onto um, the front of our piece of cardstock there and now I'm going to use the love is all you need from crafters companion and it's the sentimental set I'm gonna use some memento ink and the stamp that I selected um, I'm going to go ahead and stamp it there I had to put my bow to measure where I needed it at but I'm gonna go ahead and stamp it right there next to the Eiffel Tower um, stenciled piece that I did um, from the Sheena Douglas stencil and then I'm going to take some adhesive and run it down my ribbon because I want my piece of ribbon to go all the way around because that flap is going to be the front of our purse. So when you open up the flap, you are going to be able to see the ribbon on the back side. All right, this ribbon that I'm using is from Really Reasonable Ribbon. It's the Sheer Organza with a satin center and it's in turquoise. And it's so very easy to tie. It makes a beautiful bow. And what I do is I make my bow separate and then wrap the... Um, ribbon around my project and then I glue my bow in place with um, a gel glue and you just have to hold it for a couple seconds and it's there. So now we're going to do the inside of this and again I'm using the love is all you need uh, stamp set and I'm going to use memento ink and I've done a square here that is I believe three and a half by three and a half and I'm going to add a little butterfly from the desires um, die cuts that um, are from Crafters Companion there. And that's this cute little butterfly. I use a straight pin to um, pull the paper off of the metal die itself. Um, I find that it's pretty easy to use that straight pin and it helps um, get all the little intricate pieces out of that die. All right. As I fold this up and um, place the little card in the center and add our flap, I'm going to play you a little bit more music. Enjoy. All right, here's a close-up of the inside of our pop open purse card it's love you to the moon and back and to infinity and beyond always and I did this in slow-mo so that you can see how the card folds up and um, 
and the flap flops over and we're done with our card. Thank you so much for joining me today for this fun pop open purse card. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll try it. And the big scoreboard is awesome. And all of the Sheena Douglas products, the Desire Essentials, the Sentimentals, all of that can be found at Crafters Companion. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to stay around for the end of this video. And I'll show you uh, links to three other projects done with Crafters Companion products. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye. Hi everyone, it's Jen here again. Thanks for sticking around. If you click on the blog, it'll take you to my blog, Jack's Beanstalks. If you click on subscribe to this channel, it'll let you subscribe to my YouTube channel here. And if you click on those three videos above, it'll take you directly to those videos. And they're really cool using Crafters Companion products um, and some Spectrum Noir markers as well. Thanks for um, giving me the thumbs up here on this video. Have a great day.